The Battle of Montijo was fought on 26 May 1644, in Montijo, Spain, between Portuguese and Spanish forces. Although the battle ended with a Portuguese victory, the Spanish saw it as a strategic success as they claimed to have prevented Meixas de Albuquerque from capturing Badajoz. Despite Albuquerque having no intention of attacking the city, background, Portuguese general Meixas de Albuquerque knew the Spanish were commanded by the Marquis of Torrecusa, a renowned military tactician, and wanted to affirm his own presence. He managed to gather 6,000 infantry, 1,100 cavalry and six cannons, in order to give battle. He crossed the frontier attacking, pillaging and burning Villa del Rey, Puebla and Boca de Manfet until reaching the town of Montijo, which surrendered without a fight. Battle. Not having encountered the Spanish army, Meixas de Albuquerque decided to return to Alentejo, while on march. The Portuguese were confronted by a Spanish force from Torrecuza's army led by the Baron of Molingen consisting of 4,000 infantry and 1,700 cavalry. On 26 May 1644 the two armies met not far from Montijo. The forces of Molingen adopted a semi-circle formation, which would permit a simultaneous attack on the Portuguese front and flanks. Meixas de Albuquerque, marching in a slow pace towards Portugal, had prepared for a rear attack by placing the infantry in two defensive lines with the strongest formations in the rear. The baggage wagons in the vanguard and the cavalry split between the two flanks. The six cannons of the Portuguese initiated the hostilities. The Spanish side soon replied, but very ineffectively. The Spanish cavalry attacked the Portuguese left flank, routing the 150 Dutch cavalry commanded by Captain Piper. The panic spread to the rest of the cavalry on both flanks who abandoned the field through their own lines, taking refuge in woods near Zevora, leaving the infantry disorganized. Led by Molingen himself, the Spanish cavalry easily opened a breach in the center of the Portuguese positions, taking the Portuguese artillery. Thinking that the battle was won, Molingen troops scattered themselves without care on the field looting. Albuquerque's horse was killed and he was found fighting on foot by a French officer named La Mollet who gave him and his own horse. Taking advantage of the Spanish lack of reserves and dispersion, Meixas de Albuquerque and his officers rallied some of the scattered troops and quickly retook the Portuguese artillery. D. João da Costa, a Portuguese artillery officer, efficiently used the artillery to stop the Spanish forces from regrouping. The rallied Portuguese troops took back the field and drove the Spaniards across the Guadiana inflicting heavy losses. Aftermath On the following day the Portuguese troops returned to Campo Maior. Both sides claimed victory, as well as having caused high casualties to each other. When news of the victory achieved by Albuquerque reached King John IV of Portugal he awarded the general with the title of Count of Alegreta, Madrid, as well as Lisbon rejoiced with the news of the battle that had great repercussion in the European courts. In culture, the Spanish playwrights Pedro Francisco Lamini and Sr. Duran composed respectively the comedy El Mas Valiente Extremo, Bernardo del Montijo, El Segundo Don Rodrigo Diaz de Viva and the poem in his collection Romances Vulgaris de Valencias, Guapeses y de Safueros in honor to the battle. The Portuguese João Sors da Gama also did it in his Batalha do Montijo. Bibliography Tony Jacques, Dictionary of Battles and Sieges F.O. Greenwood Publishing Group, ISBN 0-313-335389, Stanley Sandler, Grand Warfare, An International Encyclopedia, Volume 1, ABC Clio, ISBN 1-57607-344-0, McKeel Claude Felter, Warfare and Armed Conflicts, a Statistical Reference to Casualty and Other Figures, 1500-2000, McFarland, ISBN 9780-7864-1204-4, Edmund Wright, Thomas Edmund Farnsworth Wright, 
a dictionary of world history. Oxford University Press, ISBN 0-19-920247-8. Luis de Menezes Era Serra, Historia de Portugal Restaurado, 1643-1656, preceded by the biographies and genealogies of the chief representatives of the royal houses of the world. Read books, ISBN 9781-4437-3455-4. Carlos Afonso dos Santos, Carlos Selvagem, Portugal Militaire, Imprensa Nacional, HV, Livermore, A New History of Portugal, Cambridge University Press Archive, ISBN 0-521-29103-8. The Encyclopædia Britannica, or Dictionary of Arts, Sciences, and General Literature, PLA, Ray, Volume 18, History of Portugal, Pamphlet Collection Cup Archive, ISBN 1-00-128780-0, Miguel Artola, Encyclopædia de Historia de España, Dictionario Tomatico. Alianza Ed. ISBN 9788420652412. Juan Contreras y López de Ayala Lazoya. Historia de España. La Edad Antigua. Americana a la Política Exterior de Felipe IV. Salvat Editors. Eduardo Ibarra y Rodríguez. España Bajo los Austrias. Editorial Labor. ISBN 9788433522061. Enrique Garcia Hernan. David A. Maffi. Guerra y Sociedad en la Monarquía Hispánica. Política, Estrategia y Cultura en la Europa Moderna. 1500-1700. Volume 1. Laborata. ISBN 978848483224-9. Virginia Military Institute, George C. Marshall Foundation, American Military Institute. The Journal of Military History, Volume 71, Issues 1 to 2. American Military Institute. Jordi Ventura y Subirats. Historia de España, Desde los Reyes Católicos hasta Carlos, Volume 3, Plaza y Janes, ISBN 978-84-01-60543-7, Real Academia de la Historia, Memorial Histórico Español, Memorial Histórico Español, Colección de Documentos, Opusculos y Antigdades. Real Academia de la Historia, Antonio Valladares de Sotomayor, Semanario Eriodita que comprehende varias obras en editas, criticas, morales, instructivas, políticas, históricas, satíricas, y jacosas de nuestras mayores autores antiguas y modernos, Volume 33, Blas Roman, Disney A, R. A. History of Portugal and the Portuguese Empire. From Beginnings to 1807 Cambridge University Press, 1st edition ISBN 0521-60397-8. Angelo Ribeiro, Historia de Portugal, A Restauração da Independência o Inicio da Dinastia de Bragança ISBN 989-554-110-4. Cathal J. Nolan. The Age of Wars of Religion, 1000-1650, An Encyclopedia of Global Warfare and Civilization, ISBN 0-313-33733-0, Edward McMurdo, The History of Portugal, From the Reign of D. Joao II, To the Reign of D. Joao V, Volume 3, Volume 3, David Eggenberger, An Encyclopedia of Battles. Accounts of over 1,560 battles from 1479 BC to the present. ISBN 0-486-24913-1. Robin Eric of Wagner Pacificer. The Art of Surrender. Decomposing Sovereignty at Conflict Send. University of Chicago Press. ISBN 978-0-226-86979-7. Modesto Lafuenta. 
Historia General de España, Volume 16, Establecimiento Topográfico de Melado, Nicolas Diaz y Pérez, Historia de Talavera la Real, Villa de la Provincia de Badajoz, Editorial Maxter, ISBN 978849761208 one